like a hell cut. Hello friends. Today our topic is how to find h of z from various type. So let's see. So basically you have to find h of z. Now h of z can be found by h of n. All right, it can be found by direct form 1 and 2. It can be found by x of n equation, h of n equation. It can be found by let's say discrete value 1 2 3 and so on. It can be found by any let's say if somebody say fir or iir you can find h of n h of z as well all right and what's the last case that's possible and the last case is from poles and zeros you can also say somebody says like lpf any bandpass filter anything then also you can find h of z so let's see how to solve them So our first type is finding h of z from h of n. Now suppose h of n is equal to one, two, three, four. Then what is h of z? It's very simple. The formula says summation n is equal to zero to n minus one h of n z raised to minus n. So now what is n? Capital n is the length. So you can see one, two, three, four. You can see one, two, three, four. There are four. Amplitudes, so the length is four. So it will go from zero to three, h of n, z raised to minus n. All right, which can be split as h of zero, z raised to zero plus h of one, z raised to minus one, and so on. So the final answer is h of z is one plus two times z raised to minus one plus three times z raised to minus two plus four times z raised to minus three. From h of n, you can find h of z by analysis also now you can see that the amplitudes are 1 2 3 and 4 and by the formula we get z to the power minus n and the n is positive 1 0 1 2 3 and so on all right so this means that we will get the overall a negative power of z you can see z raised to 0 z raised to minus 1 z raised to minus 2 z raised to minus 3 so if suppose i say what is the z transform of uh, this then you can say by oral that it should have 1 1 2 2 2 z powers 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and positive because summation so this was the type 1 now let's understand the type 2 now suppose if h of n is given in the form of a function now the function is Suppose delta of n plus delta of n minus one plus delta of n minus two and so on. Now, what is the z transform of that? So h of z is one plus z to the power minus one, and the z transform. Now note z transform, z transform of delta of n is equal to one. So first we do the z to the power minus one, and suppose I have delta of n plus three. So all cases are covered, negative and the positive. All right. So z transform of delta of n is one. So into one plus z to the power minus two. Again, z transform of delta of n is one, and z to the power three. Now you can note that this term is only important in this case. You can see whatever is the value minus one, then z to the power minus one, minus two, z to the power minus two, plus three, z to the power three, and the z transform of delta of n. So the final answer is one plus Z to the power minus one, minus two, and three. Now let's see some interesting example. Now suppose I have h of n is equal to a function. Now the function I say let p half n this. So half raised to n u of n. Again, if we apply the formula like summation zero, uh, let's say zero to now because of u of n. The value here would be infinity because u of n says I will work only from zero to infinity. Otherwise, I am zero. You can see in the negative side, I am zero, but I will work from zero to infinity. All right. So now we have half raised to n z to the power minus n. So the formula in this formula, I change only the limit. Rest remains the same h of n and z to the power minus n. 
so if i club this 0 to infinity half z to the power minus 1 and raised to n this formula remembers uh, remind me of something like if i have summation 0 to infinity c raised to n the formula says 1 by 1 minus c so if i can write this as 1 by 1 minus half and so basically our c is this half z raised to minus 1 so i have wrote 1 by 1 minus half z raised to minus 1 so this is the answer so basically h of n the function can be now i have taken a raised to n u of n so the answer is z by z minus a you can see that now suppose i have u of n then the answer should be z by z minus 1 now suppose i have n into a raised to n u of n the answer should be a z by z minus a the whole square so there are many such functions you should know so that you can find the answer directly now let's talk about difference equation difference equation is very important suppose i have x of n plus n minus 1 plus x of n plus 2 that is equal to y of n minus 1 so what is the h of z so simple capital x of z and whatever is the value just raise that to the power of z so z raised to minus 1 so again x of z whatever is the value just raise the power of z so power of z would be z plus 2 again y of z so power of z would be z raised to minus 1 ok club x of z and we will get z minus 1 plus z raised to minus 2 ok and we have y of z now y of z by x of z is equal to h of z so what is the answer ok this is the equal to sign so the answer is y of z will come here and z, z to the power minus 1 will come here so this is the final answer so I hope difference equation is clear to you so first we have got h of n type h of n had function and the discrete value and the delta function alright now we have covered difference equation now let's cover some more interesting example now the just a logic part I am talking about DTFT now the logic says if you have h of e raised to j omega and suppose the value is e raised to j omega by e raised to j omega minus 1 now this has a complete resemblance to z transform so what is the resemblance to z transform so z is equal to e raised to j omega so if I put e raised to j omega is equal to z I get h of z now why they have connection because if we have h of z we can find h of e raised to j omega and from e raised to j omega we can find magnitude and phase spectrum so this is a very important com uh, relation you can say between z and e raised to j omega because it helps to find the plot between magnitude and frequency and phase and frequency let's see some interesting example as well now let's talk about poles and zeros poles and zeros are the very important topic suppose this is imaginary and this is real part u u and jv and if i have a pole right here and if i have a zero right here so this is one this is minus one and this is zero so you can say that 0 is at minus 1 whereas pole is at origin 0 so what is h of z h of z says I am 0 by pole form so you can write z minus alright so you can write z of minus of minus 1 upon z minus 0 so the answer is z plus 1 upon z you can see the reverse way if you have to plot this so, so z plus 1 is equal to 0 so we get z is equal to minus 1 and we have a 0 at minus 1 similarly we have a pole at 0 if somebody asks you what is this remember this 0x means a low pass filter x0 means the high pass filter so this is a low pass filter so this was from graph how we can plot h of z now the important topic is relation what is the relation between h of z and h1 of z now h of z is the z transform of a function 
h of n and h1 of n is the inverse of this all right so if somebody ask you what is the inverse of h of z due to invert ability property we can say that h of z is equal to 1 by h1 of z so we can find h1 of z that is equal to 1 by h of z now you can take the example if somebody ask you what is the value of h1 of z if this is the h of z so h1 of z is equal to z minus 1 by z so this is one of the important type and this is because of invert ability now let's talk about filters very important topic filters when somebody asks you low pass filter i said you remember 0x so h of z will be what just take a graph and just take any value 0 and x so what, uh, this is the unit circle so what will be h of z so it would be z plus 1 by z all right somebody asks you what is high pass filter you remember x0 so h of z would be what so remove this 0 and place 0 here so why 0 is only changing because 0 has the power of attenuation this decides attenuation now what why I place here when omega is at low frequency and if I place a 0 here and 0 attenuates so then what will happen at low frequency whatever is the value will get attenuated to 0 and it will come at 0 and only high will pass so this has become the high pass filter because 0 has attenuated the whatever is the amplitude at low frequency it attenuated that amplitude and we get a high pass filter so z minus 1 by z this is nothing but x and 0 now somebody asks you what is the comb filter comb filter says I am present at unit circle many times so you can see that all zeros are at unit circle so z to the power let's say 1 2 3 4 5 I have 5 zeros so z to the power 5 minus 1 upon z to the power 5 so this is the comb filter so I have 5 poles and I have 5 zeros at unit circle so this is the comb filter now how comb filter will look like somewhat like this now let's see how to realize h of z that I have covered in my video so let's take the inverse of that I have given you direct form 2 of FIR and IIR you have to find h of z now this is cool because I have taught you how to find direct form 2 from h of z now the task is to find h of z from direct form 1 uh, direct form 2 of FIR and IIR now let's talk about FIR first FIR says if I am something like this and my multipliers are suppose 1, 2 and 3 and all are added and I get an output y of n so this is x of n so what is h of z so first you have to realize that there are summation and everything goes in the right direction this means only zeros are present there is no poles so the first point is clear that there are no poles in this diagram okay now the second point is that I have first term here I have second term here and I have third term here and all of this are added okay so I should have a first term then I should have a second term then I should have the third term so you can see first second and third and all of them are added cool so now what is the first term you can see only one is present in the first term but you can see in the second term this is the second term the multiplier is 2 and the delay is z to the power minus 1 in the third term you can see that the delay sorry here z power minus 1 so you can see that the delay is multiplied so z to the power minus 2 is the delay now and the multiplier is 3 so this is the answer so I hope this is clear to you FIR now let's realize IIR now if we have a diagram of IR like this then what will be the value of h of z first you should know that in numerator part there are zeros and denominator part there are poles zeros are represent in forward direction and that's why their coefficient are positive like 
there is no change in the coefficient what is the value will remain as the value but in poles they are in the left hand side so the coefficient will be minus of coefficient so if we have 1 then the answer will have minus 1 all right so the basic of zeros and poles i have given to you now let's just write the answer so the first both have 1 all right now both have delay of z to the power minus 1 cool z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 1 both have delays now the coefficient you can see 0 it has coefficient 3 and the coefficient will remain as it is so plus 3 but in poles the coefficient get negative so if we have 1 then the answer would be minus 1 ok now you can see that we have no zeros further but we have pole so the power now became z to the power minus 2 ok now what is the coefficient coefficient is minus 2 so we have to take the negative of that so the value will be plus 2 so this is the answer of h of z for iir now is just let's say topic let's say topic means if somebody ask you write the h of z for fir then you should know that there are only zeros so 1 plus z to the power minus 1 plus 2 z to the power minus 2 you can write anything now suppose somebody says write ir then h of z would be it would have a pole and it would have a zero so let's say you can take any value 1 plus z to the power minus 1 1 minus 2 z to the power minus 2 so this is ir it has zero it has pole and when you say fir it has only zeros all right and somebody says you low pass filter high pass filter just remember the logic 0x high pass would be x0 comb would be comb would be just replace the if suppose you have z power minus 1 and z in the denominator just replace z by z to the power pi and you just get the comb now if somebody says you that write minimum system maximum system and a mixed phase system you should know that minimum system means 0 should be inside the unit circle maximum should be 0 should be outside unit circle mix would be both inside and outside the unit circle alright so h of z minus half upon sorry z minus half upon z this would represent that the zeros are inside unit circle so it should be minimum system so h of z is this now if somebody say you that write the mixed phase system and find h of z so you should know mixed phase system it should be both 0 should be inside and 0 should be outside the unit circle so this is a mixed phase system and the last is maximum maximum means it should be outside so z to the power uh, sorry z minus 2 upon z so important points are that h of z can be found by many things and your task is to solve difference equation practice this difference equation as many as you can filters you should know the basic that 0x x0 and the comb all right then i have told you about h of n h of n can be of variety of types discrete values functions so you have to practice this function part because discrete you can solve by formula then we have delta function this is important this is you should note that if there is delta of n what we can do all right then we have direct form 2 that you should practice for fir and ir how you can find that so this is again a practice part and function is the practice part and difference equation is the practice part and again the poles and zeros how to find h of z from poles and zeros plot that's it so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.